In the past few days, a media uproar started over the visit of Sheikh Hamouza bin Nasser of Qatar to the pyramids of Meroe in Sudan. Egyptian media rushed to showcase their astonishment that another country could have pyramids. We heard that the Sudan has pyramids. In the ومش اي حد يبقى عنده اهرامات ده الاهرامات دي 7000 سنه. It's not much of their fault though because this is the result of a massive misinformation campaign that has been going for decades to associate anything that has to do with pyramids or the pharaohs with modern day Egypt. What these so called journalists fail to admit though is that there are more of these cheese triangles in the small part of northern Sudan than there are in the whole of Egypt. 220 of them to be precise. You see, Meroe was the capital of the historic kingdom of Kush. And much like the Egyptian pharaohs, the Kushite kings and queens were buried in these tombs alongside their golden jewelry. These pyramids, with some of them dating up to 4,600 years, are considered by many archaeologists to be even older than their Egyptian counterparts. But thanks to Sudanese neglect, combined with an Egyptian strive to conceal information about their existence, they were widely overlooked. Although it is frustrating for Egyptian media to try to demolish and obliterate all Sudanese history and culture, it's not unprecedented. Over and over again, Egyptian journalists have been falsely claiming that Sudan was occupied by Egypt. Some went even as far as to eradicate all Sudanese history by claiming that Sudan is an extension of the Egyptian state. Again, this couldn't be further from the truth. What they're actually referring to here is the time when both Sudan and Egypt were colonized by the British and administered from Cairo from 1899 to 1956 in what was known as the Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. But historically, it was actually the Nubians of Sudan that conquered Egypt and ruled as the pharaohs of the 25th dynasty for a whole century. So it's more accurate to say that the current day Nubians have a more legitimate claim over the history of Kemet than modern day Egyptians, who are mostly the descendants of the various civilizations that conquered Egypt throughout the years. One more misconception to put to bed here is the notion that the Nile is somehow an Egyptian property. While it's true that Egyptians have always flourished alongside the banks of the Nile, and the Greek historian Herodotus wrote that Egypt is the gift of the Nile, this legendary river is actually formed in Khartoum and runs its longest course in Sudan. Sudan is a rich country, both geographically and historically, and any attempt to deny that would only portray your ignorance, Mr. Journalist. <laughs>